Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you how I built the computer mouse project that I overviewed in my last video. So these are all the parts I'm using for this project. I'm using the Raspberry Pi Zero as the brain, a mini Bluetooth keyboard, a 1.5 inch OLED display, a 500 milliamp hour lithium battery, a micro lipo charger, an SD card, a small mouse, and a larger mouse. Before receiving all the parts, I was thinking that I was going to be able to use this mouse as the housing, but if I wanted to be able to install the keyboard into it, I was going to need something else. The first thing I did was wire everything up. I begin by wiring the OLED display to the Raspberry Pi. I'll get into greater detail of how I set up the screen in a few minutes. For the LiPo charger, I solder this connection since I'm using a 500 milliamp hour battery. Then I wire a switch to the LiPo charger board and wire the board to the Raspberry Pi. Then I tested it out to make sure everything was working perfectly. Next, I disassembled the Bluetooth keyboard and removed its charging jack. Then I wired the keyboard's battery terminals to the Raspberry Pi. I took the small mouse apart, then I took the larger mouse apart, cut the board in two, and wired it to the circuit board of the smaller mouse. I then cut the circuit board down so it would be as small as possible. Then I hot glued the light refractor to the sensor. When I had all the parts I was going to need for the project, I designed and 3D printed the housing. Then I put the movement sensor in place and glued it there. I put the power switch in place and then the lipo charger and wired them both to the Raspberry Pi Zero. Then I tested it. Then I stuck the battery in place with some 3M double-sided tape and glued the Raspberry Pi down. Then I glued the mouse's buttons in place. So right now would be a great time to start talking about the sponsor for this video. Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN. If you don't know what a VPN is, it basically encrypts all of your data sent through the internet to protect your important information like location, password, or other sensitive data from hackers and surveillance. And it also allows you to be completely anonymous on the internet. Surfshark is able to do all that plus a ton more. Surfshark can help you find better prices on products, it blocks ads, malware, hackers, and even prevents phishing. It can also unblock movies and TV shows that aren't available in your country. Surfshark allows access to eight different Netflix libraries, including the UK, Japan, France, Australia, and more. Surfshark works on all platforms and allows for unlimited devices. And if that's not enough, Surfshark is offering a special deal for electronic grenade fans. With the code EG, you'll get an 83% discount. So if you are interested in Surfshark, just click the link below or type surfshark.com EG into your browser. Now, back to the build. Then I soldered the wires from the keyboard to the Raspberry Pi. Then I glued the housing to the screen and rewired the screen to the Raspberry Pi with the ribbon cable. Then I glued the screw in place to keep the scroll wheel from moving around too much. Finally, I put the top on and screwed everything together. Now before I test it, let me show you how I set up the screen with the Raspberry Pi. To do this, I installed Raspbian onto an SD card and booted my Pi up with a TV as the monitor. First, I went to this TXT file. The link to it is in the description. Then I copied this code and pasted it into the terminal window. I pressed Y, then selected number 3.
Next, I pressed N so it wouldn't reboot. Then I pasted this line of code into the terminal. Then I pasted all this code right above the line exit 0. Then I pressed Ctrl X to exit. And finally pressed Y and then enter. Then I edited the config.txt file with this line of code. I backspace all of this and pasted this new code in its place. Then I exited the configuration file. Next I opened the command line file and added this to the end. Finally I rebooted. I flipped the power switch and much to my surprise it actually started booting up. I tested all of the different functions and they all seemed to work. If you'd like to see this mouse in action, please check out this video here. Thanks for watching. Peace out.